For this next problem, very similar to the previous problem, we were trying to figure out quarters. We're going to do another money conversion factor. We're trying to see if you had 500 pennies, how many dollars that would be. Again, the given is whatever piece of information you're told in the problem. So we're told that we have 500 pennies. We want to know how many dollars this would be. So that's our determine. What are we trying to figure out? Now we need a link, a conversion factor between pennies and dollars. Well, there's a hundred pennies in a dollar. So all conversion factor problems, all factor label problems always start with a given over the number one. So we're going to take 500 pennies and put that over the number one. Now we're going to take our conversion factor and we have to decide if we put $1 over 100 pennies or 100 pennies over $1. Because we want the pennies to cancel out and go away, I'm gonna put the 100 pennies part of this conversion factor on the bottom down here and the $1 part on the top. That allows us to cancel out the word pennies and pennies or at dollars which is where we were trying to go, so we know we've hit the end of the problem. Now we just multiply across on the top. 500 times 1 is 500. Multiply across on the bottom. 1 times 100 is 100. And now we simplify. 500 divided by 100 is 5. And our unit would be dollars, because our pennies have canceled out and gone away.